Hello there, YouTube. It's Ro here. Thank you for visiting You Grow Ro. If this is your first time, I hope you'll consider subscribing at the end of this video. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you. Today, I'm going to harvest some leaves from that Happy Rich F1 broccoli that I did a video on. Um, it was super tasty. The leaves, though, were insanely good. And so I had planned on fermenting them, but after having tasted some of the leaves, I thought maybe I don't have to do that, but I wasn't using the bigger ones. So today we're harvesting some of the bigger ones. That'll also give me the um, the opportunity to uh, get those other plants some of the light from the unit. So let's get in here and see if I'm gonna be fermenting or if I'm just gonna be eating it straight off the plant. Harvesting these broccoli leaves, a few of them at least. And depending on how tough they are, I may be fermenting them. But part of this is because one, they taste so good, at least the small tiny ones that I had on the piece of broccoli that I harvested um, a couple days ago. And then also because one plant is shading out the rest of them, and so I'm gonna remove some of its larger leaves to try and give these other plants a chance. All right, let's do this. All right, so I'm thinking this one can go. Oh, it's so tender. That one. Yeah, see, there's other plants in there. <laughs> it doesn't look the healthiest. I realize that, but I'm gonna leave that one. Okay. So I wound up harvesting um, six leaves off of the plant, and they're huge. I mean, look at them compared to my head. <laughs> And we're just gonna taste a little bit of one. I'm just gonna go down here and get some of this and see if it's as tender as um, the leaves were on the broccoli stem, broccoli head. Mm -mm. No, it's not. So I am gonna, oh, but it, it tastes good. It tastes good. It's mildly, tastes like a broccoli. Um, so I'm gonna ferment these. And I think I'm gonna add some chipotle seasoning, spice it up a little bit. Let's see what I come up with. All right, so let's get started. Um, what I have here is three cups of water, filtered. Um, you would just want non-chlorinated. And then I'm gonna add, nope, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> I'm gonna add one and a half tablespoons of this pickling and canning salt to that for clear canning brine. And then I have my jar, which I'm gonna put my veggies in, and I have my chipotle sauce, or chipotle powder that I'm gonna add. Um, what I'm gonna be fermenting are some small onions from the garden, outside the outdoor garden, and then I have my broccoli leaves. So to begin, I'm gonna um, remove the leaves 
from the stems because the stems can be quite tough. And we don't want that. So to do that, I'm just going to, let me get this out of the way. Not a lot going on here. These leaves are so big. Tear that off. I've not done this before. This is totally an experiment. <laughs> and my stems are going into uh, my bag for my vegetable stock that I keep in the freezer. And I'm just gonna do that for all of them. Okay, so I got all my leaves removed from the stems and now I'm just gonna chop them up real good. Celery in there. Matter of fact, I should just get a rib anyway. All right. These were sprouting again. I've been going through them, but we can only eat so much. How big do I want them? I guess pretty big, so we'll go like that. I think I only need the one onion. Okay. Break it up a little bit. I've been cleaning all day. That's why my hands are so ashy. Don't judge me. I love the smell of chopping onions. Okay, let me get a rib of celery. Okay, so I've added my salt. gonna shake it up to dissolve it a little bit. That looks good. Okay. Moving on. I'm gonna add, I don't know. A tablespoon of chipotle. Ooh, that smells so good. Tablespoon of chipotle. Meow. 
And then I'm going to go in with my collard, a little bit of onion, a little bit of celery, or collards, not collards, that's my broccoli leaves, broccoli leaves. I'm making a mess. I need to bring that closer to me. I got big hopes for this ferment. <laughs> but you know, oh, that's a really big leaf. But you just never know. I did one a couple weeks ago that just turned out okay. I would never do it again, so I didn't bother. I made a video of it, but um, I would never bother making it again, so I didn't bother putting the video out. I just deleted it. And you could add some herbs or some garlic, some peppers, whatever you want it. In fact, I have a perpetual fermenting garlic in my fridge. I started it, what, last year? I'm gonna be using that juice as part of my fermentation starter. You don't have to have a fermentation starter. I'm using that though. Well, you know what, I won't, because I know most of you won't have that, so I won't put that in. We'll just see how it goes like this. All right, so now I'm going to add my brine. Oh good, it's enough. <laughs> Wasn't sure. I could have put some more onion in there. I'm gonna put my <coughs> fermentation spring in, and I got my fermentation lid. Screw it on. And that's just gonna keep the, um, no, it doesn't have it down. You use this to try to help keep the contents beneath the water because you don't want anything above. You know what I got? I can go get a horseradish leaf. Hold on. Our tomatoes ain't looking good at all. But it looks like I got some I can come out here and get. That one down there. Oh, and there's another one down there. Perfect. We'll grab those on the way back in. Oh, I got a lot of cherry tomatoes here too. Notice the difference between the summer ones and the um, tomatoes bred for northern climates. Those are doing good. I hope I have enough time to see them come to fruition. Here's that black cherry. It's got fruit on it, but it ain't turning colors yet. I don't know why that one took so long to uh, do its thing. Okay, let's grab a leaf here. This is that hybrid. Um, horseradish that I bought this year. I'm, I won't be harvesting this this year. However, I will be harvesting some of that. One of those, I don't, I don't remember which one. I, I'm guessing I harvested from that one last year. So I'm gonna harvest from this one this year. It looks bigger. That's what I'm guessing. See my sun choke flower? And see, this is what happens. Ooh, I see a ripe tomato in there. I get sidetracked. We were doing a ferment and here I am picking fruit. All right, I'm back. 
here's our horseradish leaf. I went ahead and washed it off because I dropped it on the ground a handful of times while we were out there getting that harvest. So, I'm just gonna cut this into two pieces. All right, that looks good. Woo! Now we can move on. Add a little bit more of the brine. I lost some. There we go. All right. <laughs> now we're done. Now there's our broccoli leaf celery, onion, chipotle, ferment. <laughs> I'll let you guys know how it turns out, if it's any good. All right, friends, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for taking a walk on the wild side with me. I um, enjoy doing experimental recipes all the time. Uh, sometimes they work out, sometimes they don't. Um, like I said earlier, there was one that I, there was a ferment I made a few weeks ago and it just turned out okay. I would never do it again and that's why I didn't do a video on it. <laughs> All right guys, thanks for spending time with me and I'll see you in the next video on another day. Happy growing.